free practice test. This is for teachers, elementary school teachers, and special education teachers K through eight that are preparing to get their licensure for uh, teaching in Massachusetts. Uh, this is a cool problem. Uh, it's a tricky problem, and I think it's also a good one for uh, other teachers that are preparing to take the math and tells the 53, the 47, the 09, 51. So let's take a look at it. Um, when I start, I'm first going to just take a quick glance. I notice there's a diagram. There's a certain portion that's shaded, and there's cubes here. This is n, and this is 2n. Okay, big diagram, shaded cubes. Then I'm looking down here and answer choices. Um, all right, so I'm not so sure that can help me. That can this hopefully will help. Now I'm going to read the problem and see um, how I can match this diagram with the writing. Use the diagram below to answer the questions that follows. Okay. The diagram above could best be used to derive a formula for which the following quantities. A. The sum of the first n consecutive odd integers. B. The product of the first consecutive odd integers. C. The sum of the first consecutive even integers. D. The product of the first consecutive odd integers. Wow. Where should I even begin with a problem like this? Well, you know where we're going to begin? We're going to begin by driving our car. We're going to drive our car. This is my car. All right? You have your car. This is my car. My car is really cool. Anyways, my orange car is driving on the road. And I am going, I come to something called a fork in the road. If I take the right fork, I'm going to get to where I want to go. If I take the wrong fork, I'm going to get lost. This is just like this problem here. In this problem, we're either dealing with, we could look at it in a couple different ways. We could think about it in terms of the sum or product. Or we could start by thinking about it in terms of, are we dealing with odd integers? Or are we dealing with even integers. That's a good, either one of those ways is a good place to begin. Now let me tell you something. Let's say we're going to, we start with, uh, if I think this has to do with uh, um, summer product here. If I get the correct fork right, let's say I, I feel it has to do with sum. And this is a uh, product. Product, by the way, is, you know, another way of saying multiply. So product, you could say multiply here, sum is adding. If I get the correct fork right when I'm driving to my friend's house, I've just increased, increased my chances of getting to my friend's house by 50%. Isn't, wouldn't that be great? This is called the fork in the road. Most of the problems on this test, on all the MTEL tests, are going to have forks in the road. And if you can identify the correct fork, you're going to increase your chances by 50%. Look at how the question and all the questions are written. There's always a fork. You just pick the fork that you want to eliminate to the answer choices, and it will help you. All right. Well, thanks, Chris. Now, how do we solve the problem? Well, I'm still going to pick it apart. What the heck are consecutive odd integers? What's an integer? An integer, remember, this is a, a number that's divisible by one with no remainder. And they can be positive and negative, but if we're dealing with the first consecutive odd integers, I guess they want us to start with numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. And if we were dealing with the first consecutive even integers, we'd be dealing with 2, 4, 6, um, 8. <laughs> oh, what the hell did that 8 turn up there? <laughs> And 10. All right. So these are my odd. These are my odd. These are my even. Great. Am I dealing with a sum of these odd integers? Am I dealing with a sum of these even integers? Well, when I go and I analyze the problem, I mean, this, this just could be a lucky guess, but I see 1, I see 3, I see 5, I see 7. I see 9, I see 11. I'm not, I mean, hypothetically, I'm seeing odd numbers. 
each one of these, there's columns here of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. That would, t that would lead me to pick this right here. So if I was using a fork, I might eliminate anything that has to do with even numbers because I don't see even numbers when I look at the problem. So I'm going to cross out this one and I'm going to cross out this one. Now, am I looking at the sum of the first consecutive odd numbers? Or am I looking at the product of the first consecutive odd numbers? You know what? I'm going to have to take a guess here. I'm not 100% sure if it's the sum or product. But when I look at these values going up, I don't really feel like they're astronomically going up. It's not like I'm doing 1 times 3 times 5 times 7 and getting these really big numbers. I'm actually seeing the values go steadily up. I think it has to do with some of the first consecutive odd integers. Now, 